still asleep over there. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to episode 3 of the ETC Quickie. Today we're going to learn lots of vocabulary. Coronavirus vocabulary. Yeah, sorry, I know. But, yeah. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. Okay, so the first word we're going to learn today is lockdown. That's a situation where nobody's allowed to leave their home without a good reason. The second word we're going to learn today, which you hear very often in the news at the moment, is unprecedented. This is an adjective describing something that has never happened before. Okay, word number three is the verb to self-isolate. This is a situation or the activity we do when we stay at home to prevent contact with other people and avoid infecting them. The next verb is, uh, sorry, the next word is also a verb and it's the verb to contain. Um, this is a verb which in the context of coronavirus is used to describe uh, the activity or what we do to try and limit the damage that something can done, because uh, something can do to make sure that it's kept to a manageable level. Word number six is statutory sick pay. This noun describes the amount of money companies have to pay employees who are ill and cannot work. Next word is hand sanitizer. This is another noun we use to describe the liquid or gel uh, we use to make sure our hands are really clean, like this. Oh, isn't it wonderful washing your hands about 50 times a day? I bet you're all enjoying this. And that's my hand sanitizer. And of course, we have to have a view of the festa again. Uh, the next word, word number eight, is overwhelmed. Uh, this is an adjective which describes a situation of feeling. Uh, if, if something is too much and it overcomes you, I often feel overwhelmed when I look over there and see that beautiful castle. Okay, I'm going to try and read the next word to you without actually reading it. Ha <laughs> uh, The next word, number nine, is a vaccine. A vaccine. This is a noun which describes a medical substance which stimulates the production of antibodies and provides immunity against a disease. And I did not find that in Wikipedia. Really? So, word number ten is uh, safety measures. Uh, this is a noun which means the things we do to improve uh, our safety, uh, the level of safety. And hey, Broza, what about some advertising revenues, huh? Okay, and last but not least, people. Uh, people who can't go to their usual place of work, they normally say... Yeah, uh, yeah? I have a pretzel. Oh, for crying out loud, you want a pretzel? Yeah. We'll go and make some. Okay. I'm not your butler. Do I look like a butler? Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, people who can't go to their usual place of work, they normally say something like, I'm working from home or I'm working remotely. Maybe I'm doing teleworking at the moment. But what they don't say in English is home office, all right? Because the English word home office means in a, uh, in a ministerium. Okay, which is quite funny, actually, but... Uh, but just as a, as a tip. Okay, um, so your homework for the weekend is just to fill in the 11 sentences, uh, fill uh, the gaps uh, with the words from the uh, quickie today. Uh, good luck with that. Don't forget to check your answers from yesterday's uh, exercise. And, uh, you know, keep learning the English. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Stay at home.